Hey guys, welcome back to the wood shop again. You know, it seems my wood shop here lately has turned into more of a refinishing and restoration shop, which is okay. Uh, the woodworking projects seem to be kind of on hold to get that stuff done right now for some for some clients. Uh, and you may see this before you see this video, but I've, I've just recently done this little bench here. You can see that. That's a video that I'll link in the description. And if you've seen one of my previous videos, the desk we just recently refinished, uh, I'll link that one as well. Uh, it seemed like quite a few of you liked that one, but uh, regardless what's in the shop today, you can see this old rocker we got here. It's an old one. And this had some kind of design up here. The customer is fine with not putting that back, because to be honest, I'm not a I'm not an artist when it comes to drawing and doing that kind of stuff. I can sand it and, you know, put some stain on it and that kind of stuff and make it look better, but that's just not, you know, is not my forte. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get started. So I want to show you guys a little uh, product here. I just picked it up at Harbor Freight. Unfortunately, I didn't have it around for the, the desk we just restored. Uh, so we're going to try it out on this. This is just a little scraper. Uh, made by Quinn. It's got six blades in it. Uh, we're going to try this thing out and see how it works on this. Hopefully it can get into these tight spaces and you can see these turnings right here around the, the arms and, and the back and the legs and stuff. Hopefully that can get in there and clean that thing up so we won't have such a hard time with it. So we're at the point where we're getting ready to stain this rocket chair. I've went back and forth on it as far as how I'm going to do it. I've decided we're at least going to try to spray it. This thing has kicked our butts. Uh, of course, you don't see that in the video, but we've had this thing uh, probably over a week now, and it's been nonstop scraping and sanding just to get it to a point where it's ready. Uh, had a lot of problems with the turnings, you know, the coves and the beads and the, that kind of stuff as far as just getting all the paint and the, the old stain, that kind of stuff out there. Uh, so what we're going to try, I've heard good and bad about this. It's a stain and poly in one, <clears throat> but I don't really intend the poly in here to be the top coat. It just so happens this is the color I wanted to go with. Uh, but we're going to try spraying this. I've never sprayed it. I have brushed it. Uh, like I said, I've heard good and bad about this. Some people said it's good. Some people said it's bad. And I've brushed it before and wasn't crazy about it. The stain part worked fine, but 
the poly almost had a gritty finish to it. Uh, but now I did realize too after reading this label that it says you want to do at least two coats and most stains I've ever done you just rub on one coat and you're pretty much done. Um, so we're going to go by the label at least as far as you know doing a couple coats so even though this will be just part of this video in, in real life this is probably going to be a multi-day process because you know I'll spray this thing it'll have to dry spray it again but the thing is too I'm going to be spraying it hopefully outside anyway because I got a lot of dust in this wood shop and I know that's just going to be a mess uh, but regardless taking the rocking chair flipping it upside down because I can't of course spray the feet while it's sitting on the feet uh, so hopefully it turns out all right uh, one way or another you'll you'll find out whether we could do it or not but uh, yeah let's get started on this thing 